Welcome back, everybody, to some more Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulation. Oh, man, does our base look good. We just fought off our attack from the awareness meter. We're down to 1% again, which is good because we're going to head out here in a minute once Big Daddy and Shark Bait improve some on their health. And we're going to go and continue the mission before the game just continues to get harder and harder. We don't want to set ourselves up for disaster. I am going to plan on cutting these trees down. And then, like I had said, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Hopefully, I don't forget that I did that. But I'm going to get rid of that so we can start getting all of this stuff out here cleaned up, including the trees. I think that's going to be best. We do have a trader here. Now, I want to take a look at the trading thing because a lot of people had mentioned it, that scrap is like your money. So we actually have 392 scrap, which uh, I I wasn't even aware. I don't know how I ended up missing that. So we could technically buy the shield or something if we wanted to. We're not, we're not going to, but that's something to consider. So we could sell a lot of this older stuff and trade it away just for scrap, including that. Uh, some of the other stuff makes... A little bit more sense to keep, but that puts us at, if we trade there, 504 scrap, which isn't enough to get too much. We could get the Blessed Preacher. It is a holy weapon. Not sure if I have somebody that uses that yet. We could also get an Uzi if we can find a hundred more. And I kind of feel like we can find a hundred more. So if I was to buy the Uzi, because an Uzi would be absolutely awesome. I don't know if it's any good, but it would be really cool to have. What would I have to trade away? I could get rid of this composite bow. I know we don't need that. The bricks are worth a decent amount. I will keep the medicine. Uh, metals. We could definitely trade away a bunch of our metals. Like that. Actually, it's probably our best bet right there. Let's go ahead and do that trade. Cool. So now we got an Uzi. So thank you guys for letting me know. I'm going to get an industry up at some point anyways to be able to... Let's go ahead and scavenge these for more trade, um, for more scrap. I'm going to get an industry up and running to be able to make something that we can eventually get rid of. I think once I get all the metal armor made, then we'll especially be in a good place. Because I could trade all this improvised armor, which is worth 60. So that's like, what, 600 scrap right there? It'd be pretty good. And then whatever else we end up getting... I'm going to give the Uzi to somebody. Probably my best shot here. Hyper's actually pretty good. So let's give him the Uzi and we'll go ahead and give Sir Camo the, the rifle here. Even though he's more of a pistol kind of guy, he'll still, he'll still do uh, halfway decent with that. So not a bad gig. I do want to eventually build a wall across here, especially to get all these mineral resources in that I know we're going to need. Let me go ahead and plan on cutting these trees down just to get an idea for that. Now, Big Daddy and Shark Bay are the only two that really need to be healed up. Now, which one's in my group? Are they both in my group? It's just Shark Bay. So we could probably go ahead and just spend that extra cash, not cash, that extra medical supplies to heal Shark Bay up. I'm not worried about Deku or Big Daddy. So let's go ahead and approve that. Did that work or not? I think it's just a boost. So shark bait should heal here in a bit. Like I said, Big Daddy will sort of heal on his own. Boy, it seemed like it didn't work. It's like his health is not going up. Maybe he's got to sleep first or something. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure that's worked in the past. I do see that he is hungry. And the food situation, I'm going to go ahead and update this because it hasn't been updated in a while. We're going to do a max of 200 with a minimum of 175. Let's keep that food kind of flowing. The bread, we're going to do a minimum of 40 with a maximum of 50. Keep that going. And sandwiches now, since we have them, we're going to go ahead and do 20 and 40. Like so, I'll actually alter the bread to 80 and 100. That's going to keep somebody pretty much doing nothing but making food, but I think it'll be beneficial in the long run. The water, I'm going to change to 200 with a minimum of 160, like that. 
Oh, and that'll probably keep tripping, just tripping, doing just that. Now we've got two wheat farms here, plus some diamonds, which we're not going to harvest for a while. Another metal resource we'll get in a bit once this one's up and um, up and gone. Since we are expanding the base, I could uh, make the wheat farm here and get rid of where it is now. Or just have a wheat farm here like this instead of the two, but I'll leave it as is. But yeah, I was thinking of putting a wheat farm here and here as we kind of grow. So let's definitely do the two wheat farms. Ooh, I need more boards. Okay, let me up the amount. What are we keeping on hand here? Let's up to this to 40 with a minimum 20. The bricks probably need to be updated too. 40 and 25 we'll keep on hand. We've already got cloth, which is good to keep working on metal armor. But I'm actually going to do 20 and 15. And that'll basically keep people crafting for the end of time. Now, who do I have that's like my main craft people? I've got one person. One person, two people. I need three. Trippin's gathering water. But maybe Sir Camel could do that. So let's put Sir Camo on gathering water. We got one person doing quarry now. And that means tripping can go back to also crafting. So I've got three dedicated crafters for making bricks, making cloth, making food, and everything else in between. I think that's going to be pretty damn important. Hopefully, Sir Camo could be an excellent water gatherer in the coming days. Even though he's got a low amount, we'll have to put somebody else on there if we don't think it's going to keep up. But yeah, everything else should be fine. I did want to make another sheep farm. Eventually, these are going to move back to actually open this up. So, and then these are going to move up. So, all of this will open up eventually. Not a huge deal the way it is now. I'll keep that. So, I do want to try and move these. Now, we do have the, the furnace here and the sawmill. And those could go up into here or over into here. I don't see any reason for them to be down here. And then this can, like I said, drop down or we just make more wall across here, which might be a better idea. I don't see why I would expand this down any further. I do want to get rid of this stuff down here, but there's not a whole lot. Just a little bit of metal resources down here. There is the mineral resources, which actually will be within the wall because I'll go like that or whatever. Um, and so it's just these trees down here. I can knock one of these down, these barrel walls to collect resources. So there's no stone or anything up there. So that's not a big deal. So this could definitely move. Does it make sense to move it up to here? I almost think it does. Because I definitely want to keep the sleeping and eating area here. Eventually, I'm going to build a big building here for more beds. You can see a lot of people using the beds at once. So... This stuff will all have to move eventually, and I'll probably move it into these two temporarily, build that, and then swap it back around. So let's plan on moving this stuff up here, like so. And uh, Tromaine's there, but they'll they'll get on that. Deku's already on it. We should have plenty of resources to do that. Start speeding stuff up a bit to get that done. Like I said, I'm going to get all of this temporarily moved at some point as well. But I don't want to move anything until we're done with that. Oh, boy. Bad omens. Yeah, let's go for it. Your survivors discovered an ancient manuscript mentioning a blood moon. Things are back to normal. Okay. But we did get the demonite, which is good. But we had to spend a little bit of our research, uh, our research on that, our cult research, which is perfectly fine. So need more boards and more scrap to continue finishing these, which is why I've got these guys up here going through this rubble. So we're going to get some of our scrap from all this rubble actually can be searched through. We can make scrap too, but we'll just go ahead and get it from that for now. I think those are the last ones actually that need to be cleaned up. Yeah, and that'll be completely it. So not a big deal outside of that. Perfect. This is done up here, which means I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that completely. I don't think I'm going to make any buildings down here at all. I'm going to focus on having the buildings just in this stretch. In fact, I'm not even going to do any buildings, I don't think, right here at some point. 
we'll see how everything else goes. But yeah, I think I'm just going to focus on getting this bra across like so. I'm not even going to plan on expanding this any more than it needs to be. That's perfectly fine for now. So the base growing a little bit more. This does get rid of our little protective box here, but that's all right. We won't think too hard about it. Maybe I'll put the training areas down here instead at some point and then turn this into more wheat farm or something since all this is going to move. See, water's getting kind of low. Sir Camo's on it though. But maybe we need a second well. Ah, oh, you can't build it uh, within a certain amount of distance of that well. Okay. So it could go down here or something. Or over here. Would be fine, I guess. I think down here, just the same amount of distance actually makes sense. So it's what? Two away from that one, so two away from down here. I think that would do it. I don't know if I want to do it just yet, but we aren't keeping up. Having somebody else collecting water wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's get it constructed anyway so we have it. I'm sure we're going to find use for it here at some point. All right, everybody's healed up, so I want to go ahead and continue the mission. This is going to be a pretty tough mission. I don't think there's anything else I could do ahead of time to get myself really prepared. We've got the Uzi and everything. So long as we don't come across all these guys at once, we'll be okay. It's only going to be a problem if we end up encountering these guys, you know, um, like I said, all at once. Um, if we did, if we get them a little bit at a time, we can pick them off. So we'll get this wrapped up. See what the story takes us. I think we're ready for it. I think we really need more research materials. A lot of people have been telling me that's where I'm, I'm uh, lacking and I would agree. It's definitely where I'm lacking. So this could be a mistake, but let's just, let's keep progressing. It's only going to get harder. It's not going to get easier. The game wouldn't be fun if it wasn't hard, right? If we didn't challenge ourselves. All right. So I think I'm going to, okay. That was a mistake. I was going to say, I think I'm going to set myself up for being able to fight a couple at a time. Here we go. Shark bait, go for it, man. Oh, you can't shoot from there? Oh, crap. Okay, Richard's taking a lot of damage. Or not, I'm sorry, Hyper's taking a lot of damage, not Richard. So is an Archangel. There we go, though. Not bad, not bad. But we definitely get, took a beating. Do we have any med kits just so I know for my own sake? Trippin and Joshua both have med kits. So go ahead and heal Hyper just in case. Joshua, go ahead and heal Archangel. There we go. And that's it, right? trippin has got one more med kit. Nobody's got the ability. Oh, is that an ability? Yeah, that's an ability. So, okay. Which we already use now. So it's just going to be the med kit. Okay. All right, Joshua, you head over here. We're going to kind of do this nice and slow. We're not in a huge hurry. Oh, okay. That's fine. We can make that work. All right, Archangel, come back. Joshua. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, this might get ugly. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Nice. Not bad. I think that's just about everything. Let's see if we can find the person we're supposed to rescue. There can't be too much more on the map now. I feel a lot better. I think it was a good idea that we just kind of waited and kited everything. As opposed to just running out. If we ran into that group and got attacked from behind or something, we probably would have lost somebody. Okay, there's a ghost there. But that's not too big of a deal. And right there's the person we got to rescue. So that works out. And we know exactly how this is going to go. So let's get our group set up on the outside here so we can get in a position. We'll put Hyper right here, I think. Trippin we'll put here on the other side. Richard, you're going to be right here. Archangel, you're going to be right there. We'll have Joshua over here ready to defend and Sharkbait in the back. 
And we could probably have Shark Bay opening the cage. Now, as soon as we start to open this, these guys are going to come after us. Um, okay, let's, yeah, let's let this guy come down here first. There we go. Excellent. Archangel's going to be able to get a few hits in here. All right. Nice. Good job. All right, shark bait. Let's just keep an eye. And Trippin has the med pack, so we'll have him heal himself because he's the lowest health if it looks like it's going to get bad. Oh, no, it worked, though. It worked. Okay, so we actually, since it was part of the mission, they didn't send a bunch of people after us. That's good. Seems fair enough. Search for the Hellgate. Before he died, the badly injured survivor managed to tell you that he had worked at the Military Occult Research Center. He also claimed it was occult rituals gone wrong that caused a rift and created a portal that they call a Hellgate, through which demons can pass into your world. While the occult research team attempts to figure out what all that means and plans a mission to find this Hellgate, your settlement received a visit from a strange group of survivors who called themselves recruiters. They promised sanctuary from the demons for anyone who joined their group, but their behavior was a bit strange as if they were drugged or hypnotized and none of your group followed them as they left. The meeting left you with a feeling that you should make sure the settlement is well defended at all times. Find the Hellgate in the Northwest. Interesting. I wonder if there's like a possessed... A possessed sort of settlement nearby or something. That must be what these guys are from anyways. It would make sense. If the demons were going to stop us, they would probably try to trick us at some point since attacking us head-on hasn't worked so well for them. I could see how that could work in their favor. All right, so I said I wanted to dismantle this stuff eventually. I think I'm going to move the research bench into here so that I can get another thing up here and build a area that I can get to the resources back here. So that would require me to move this up here. Which could be done. Shark bait went ahead and did that. So Tarsus get back to work. This could be deconstructed. We've got plenty of time to do it. Uh, same with the crafting area though. I mean I would have to move the crafting area to make room. So let's move this in there. And this in there for now. And deconstruct that. And deconstruct that. And now we can build a stone house here. And like I said we're going to leave one space distance to get to the... Uh, rear of the base So I think this will work well if I wanted to build it a little bit farther forward just to keep expanding the size of the base I could but the base I don't think needs to be any bigger But why not you know why not we're not losing anything by doing this I Think that that's a good idea Let's go for it So then it'll be one here and then two over here I'll go ahead and do the two over here now or at least one over there I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually set these stones to be quarried and so I'll leave that open. We've got some time anyways. Some nearby is being chased. We can take a look. I don't know if I want to grow the group anymore, but we could use another water dedicated dedicated person. Oh no, Big Daddy's doing it. And then Sir Camo, I think, has got it over here. So maybe we're, we're pretty good. All right, Hyper. Nice marksmanship. So we can go with rare weapons, sniper rifles, or the plus one range. Let's actually go for sniper rifles. That'd be kind of cool if we get one. I think that would be very neat. I do want to cut these trees down back here. And at some point I'm going to want to grow trees, but let me just wait until these guys actually focus on this stuff. Since I find this to be a lot more important right now. In fact, I could build one of these small rooms for a crafting room right here. It would have to go right there though. Um, which means the entrance would be down here or I just plan on building it right here. Which is probably even better if I go like that, then there's another entrance, but I think it just makes more sense to build it right tight there. Let's see. Or right back like that if I wanted to move the bedrooms and stuff in. That's actually probably not a bad idea. Because they got this corner here, so they don't need another entrance over here. That's probably what I'm going to do. All these beds should move into here then. This is going to be our new kind of bedroom slash eating area. I'm going to build some more beds too. And then maybe a crafting area of some sort at some point. And then this could be another crafting area. Can I build the bigger one here? I can, but it would have to go like that. It's kind of weird, right? But it, it would work. Um, 
I can build this here, but I just realized if I do that, I'm going to, I'm going to cover up that diamond, which I don't want to do. So it'd have to go right here, which, uh, you know, is fine, I guess. So let's go ahead and get that down. Then they got this one in and out and that's, that's perfectly fine for what we're doing. Let's make sure they get this last bit of stone that's out here. So we're looking for a Hellgate in the Northwest. So some place up here is going to be a Hellgate. Holy crap, the map is huge. Um, okay. I do want to get more research materials though. So let's try to find a school of some sort. And then I never checked to see if we wanted to rescue that person. But uh, that's fine. So looking for some type of school or something. We got a church which we could raid. Some of these other lower level areas. We ought to go ahead and raid too. We can get scrap and stuff out of them and some extra water, all that stuff. The canned food, which it wouldn't hurt to have. Um, if we see any question marks, we're definitely going to want to raid. See if we get some cool weapons or stuff like here, a farm. So we want to keep expanding out and raiding stuff. That's a definite, but I do want more research materials. This isn't too bad up here. And we can get some research materials from that. If we get lucky, we might even get double. Ah, copper down here. All right, how's the group right now? Pretty good. So let's just head out and plan on scavenging this. Get research materials there and there, and then we can focus on guns, which I know is definitely next for us. We got just enough time to get there. Get the research materials, get back, get the group healed up, and get ready for the next attack. Water is running out. Not really, though. We're pretty good on water. Tromaine's on it now, so there's people that are doing it. Although I would like two people doing it, but... Like I said, I'll get another dedicated water person as soon as I get the chance. Out there getting the rest of that stone. Big Daddy's getting the rest of the trees cut down. We're pretty good on wood. I do want to get more trees as well. Planted on the other side. Let's plan on doing this myself. All right, Joshua, you're going to get in the front as well as Archangel. Yeah, I want you to actually focus on the dog. He's definitely the biggest risk if he gets in here. And there we go. We're just going to focus on clearing the map out to get everything instead of going and getting it. There's two ghosts here. Should be fairly simple. Same map we were just on, so that kind of works out in our favor. Oh, shark bait, you're going to be here tripping. Richard, you're fine. Joshua up here. Archangel right there is fine. Increase the speed. Here we go. We got our first ghost coming in. Um, kind of not crazy about the short range on these guys, but I see Joshua just took a pretty nasty hit. Go ahead and use his ability. So I think all we got now is just the one ghost or two ghosts. Here they come. Oh, nope. Richard, you're a shooting guy. There we go. Perfect. And it'd be so cool if we got two research materials. I don't think I've ever gotten two, though. Nope, just one. But our group, I think, is strong enough to hit another place if we want to hit it. A succubus, a reaper, a hellhound, a demon. That's really not that bad. Let's go get some more research materials. Get the two and be done with it. And then head home. We should have enough time to get home. I'm not going to auto resolve these. I'm, I'm so nervous. I feel like I do so good by myself sometimes if I auto res um, if I auto do it, then I'm just hurting myself in the long run. Yeah, like sharp Ache's really weak and Trippin doesn't have that med kit. So we need to be careful. So let's make sure shark bait stays in the back and Archangel Joshua and Trippin up in the front. Now it should be just a demon who I'm probably going to run right into. 
If I lose somebody, I'm I'm gonna be super triggered by it. <laughs> Cause this really shouldn't be that bad of a fight. There he is. Just have Archangel Joshua and Trippin go right for him. There's no reason for him not to. Just make sure Sharkbait's not up there and he's not. There we go. Easy fight, easy fight. Probably could have auto-resolved it, but why take the chance, right? There we go. So let's send the, the group home. They'll make it back just in time, probably for the attack. Oh, now we got plenty of time. And that gives us the two research materials, which we know we're going to use to advance the to gun crafting here for the weapons workshop and the Glock. And then we can focus on making our own Uzis or even our own shotguns. That'd be kind of cool. We'll see which direction we want to expand it. The explosives, not sure. I'm as concerned about. Then we'll get the the next research after that, get Kevlar vests and a couple other better weapons. The sniper rifle eventually after the research kits. And we got to uh, remember to close these two areas up before that hits. I think, if, uh, I think I'm at the point now, if I get the opportunity to... Let's see, I want to make one, two, I think three of these. And I think I'm going to make a weakening rune. And I'll give that to Sir Camo. Yeah, we're gonna get to the we're at the point where if we get the chance to rescue another survivor, I think we're gonna take it. I'm hoping Shark Bait and Joshua will heal up here. Okay, so more survivors. I do have that armor, so let me swap. We'll start with our melee guys. Since they need the most protection. There we go. So we can sell that armor. And maybe a few more things we can sell. We can get rid of the composite bow. The arrows for sure. And then, nice. Get rid of those. These are worth actually not as much as I thought. So let's do that. Now the trader doesn't have anything. He's got a sword. Song of Glory. Hunter's gear. Ghillie suit. The metal shield is actually worth a lot. Whew, if we make a metal shield. We could sell that for a lot. We can get some guns and stuff. But yeah, that's... The only thing here I want to sell right now. And we can make the metal shield. We just need composites. Oh, that's a little ways away. No matter. Let's queue up three more of these to be made as well. I've got plenty of crafters so they can get right on that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that stone and hopefully we'll get these other two done right before the attack. Oh, crap. Uh, active vent the world map. It's the attack. They want us to attack these guys, but I got my own attack coming in. It's always like right when you got your own attack coming. I don't want to, our group is already weak. They need to heal up. We're just going to have to, we're just going to have to let that go. They won't be too happy about it, but I don't want to take the risk. Is this almost done? Yeah, it is. So we're going to let him finish that up or whoever. Finish it up. And then, there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, you almost had it too. Hey, Richard's going to go finish it up and then we're going to build this. Oh, that's so... I wanted to do that too, but again, I'm trying to wait and let everybody heal up before the next attack. Salem's Lot wasn't just destroyed, right, or anything? No. Race ship's 90, so it's not that bad. Oh, that rescue's right by us, though. How bad is it? <gasps> okay, let's go for it. It's, like, really close. We could totally do this. Before the attack. And I don't think we're really going to take that many hits as long as we don't keep getting rushed by enemies. This is totally worth uh, trying to clear out. Right there's uh, some ghost and a werewolf. Okay, perfect. I was hoping I'd get their attention. All right. What the heck? I clicked the wrong guys? There we go. Damn. I let Richard get pretty beat up there. On accident. There you go, Richard. Alright, the guy we need to rescue is right down here. Let's get our guys in... 
in order here. Trippin up in the front. Joshua, you're fine here. Shark bait, you're still pretty weak. Let's keep you in the back with Richard back here. We'll have Richard start opening the case, the uh, cage. All right, I'm hoping we don't get attacked by a bunch of crazy crap here. Really counting on it. Uh, I should have gave these guys med kits. It's already looking kind of weird. Okay, a hellhound. We can handle that. Maybe. Boy. Ah, the possessed. I don't like Hyper's range with the Uzi. I much preferred his range with the rifle. Damn, another werewolf and another hellhound. Okay, this is not good. Okay, Joshua should be able to handle that. Trip and go for the possessed. With Archangel. Hyper move up and shoot him. Shark bait's getting some shots in. Oh boy, don't lose Trip and don't lose Trip and. Who? Oh boy. Okay, retreat before anything else comes on the map. This group is super weak. I might have just messed this up for the attack to come. Oh, Alex, I hope you're worth it. I so hope you were worth it. All right, let's send the group home. I might have to waste some medicine here. Well, it's not really wasting, but I'll have to use some medicine to heal the group. We've got a little bit of time, but I don't think we're going to pull it off. Uh, everybody being healed up. We might not need everybody super healed up just because of the layout of the base. But I'd like to be in a halfway decent condition. Yeah, see, that would have to go to build this. How odd. I might have to build it a little bit wider or something if I'm going to make this work. Very weird. But it'll let me build it there. See it don't. I might have to move all these back or something. I really think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Or this one back. No, it'd have to be this one. Oh boy. Just cancel that for now. Until I can figure it out. I could put sandbags, but it doesn't do anything. It just gives them cover, I think. All right, Alex, let's take a look. Survivalist, perfect. You're a scavenger, which gives you that gather water speed I wanted, plus 75%. You're healthy alien abductee. Get ritual research speed. Wow, pretty uh, good person, actually. Well worth going out there. Makes you feel a little bit better. We'll go ahead and introduce Fancy Sheep into the game. Who's next on the list? Oh my god, Fancy Sheep, it don't fit. There we go. All right, Fancy Sheep, you're not bad at all. But I'm going to have you gather water. Since you're very good at that. And then from there, chop trees. And from there, search debris. So that worked out well. The rest of the group's going to heal up. If I wanted to head to the infirmary, we could heal some of the worst of these people up. So maybe not Archangel and Josh, but maybe these guys. They should heal a little bit faster the next time they sleep. I believe that's how that works. Doesn't look like I need more beds, but I'm going to do it. At least, I should do at least three more beds. We have a pretty large group. And then I'm going to want to get this barrel dropped as soon as that one's done. And then we got to get more trees planted. Or how are we on trees? 220 on wood, so not bad. But if we drop more trees here, all of this is all going to get pushed back at some point. So I guess it's not going to be pushed back for a while though. So I'm going to plan on building more trees here. But let me wait till they're done building all this extra stuff. Plus, trip in or sharp bait or whoever's trying to work on that. Yeah, I'm going to drop this now. Because they're not outside anyways. 
so they can start working on that. Oh, I put the beds and stuff up too, though. That's what's like, that's what has everybody super busy. All right, as soon as Shark Bait's done, I'll have him focus on this. That's almost done up there. Once Deku's done with that extra bed. Yeah, actually, they're filling the bed, so that, that doesn't hurt to have that, but let's have Deku work on that. Shark Bait is going to have that done. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to run in to finish that bed, which is fine. I didn't think we'd get this done anyways. And everything else looks good. Everybody's really well healed up, so I think we're ready for the next attack. We'll go ahead and do it. Oh, we got the research materials too, so we can go right for gun crafting. Why don't we do that? And to make the weapons workshop, I need more boards. So we'll let those guys just keep working on that. Somebody's going to go up here. Yep, Richard. I've got three people crafting now, so there should be no excuse. And it's fine if these guys want to work on that. Even with the attack coming, they're going to be far enough up front. They should get it done before the enemies get here. So that's the coup and shark base. Let's get the rest of the group here. We'll get uh, Tarsus right here. I should put these guys over here. Tarsus. Hyper I want near the front with the smaller weapon in a watchtower. Archangel. Joshua. Shark baits working. Big Daddy in this farther tower. Trip in right here. Eventually you can set this up so you don't have to do this every time. Tremaine. I'll put Deku. Oh, no. Nope, keep doing that. Richard in this closer tower. We'll put Reven in this tower. Sir Camo in this tower. Fancy sheep. Fancy, fancy, fancy sheep. Archery, evasion. So marksmanship's what we're going to work on. So you're going to need another gun. It'll probably be a Glock. Um, so fancy sheep, why don't you just come up here? I'll give you a, a health kit. You can run around and heal people that need to be healed. You'll be our medic for now. Give you a little bit of armor. I guess the metal armor, that's fine. Eventually, that's got to be given to everybody anyways. And I got one more piece of metal armor, which I'll go ahead and give to one of our up-close people like Hyper. And Shark Bait, you can be right here or right here. And Deku, you can be right here, actually. There we go. We're all set and ready. And we even got these two up, so that'll help us a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with the entrance. I don't really want to redo it now. It'd be different if I got materials back for deconstructing stuff. Or even if I um, if I could move some of this stuff. But since you can't, I don't even think it's worth redoing the entrance at this point. I might just deconstruct these and, and make them this farther out this way. And then when they get to this point, it just it is what it is, you know. But more guard towers all along here. I can make it a little bit deeper too. So I can put even more guard towers. Maybe I open it up here, make them, actually I should open it up here and do guard towers here, make them come up and then path up and around. And then this farm could, well, I don't know. We got plenty of time to think about it. Okay, let's get you guys inside the towers because I forgot. Okay, Sir Camo, Big Daddy, you'll be right here. Hyper, you're going inside here. All right. Excellent job there. That did get built and that got built, so we don't got to worry about getting any surprises. Well, this is excellent. It really is excellent. The ghosts give us a little hard time because they can shoot and stuff, but like the demons don't ever even get to us. They can't make it past all the people shooting. So this works out really well in our favor. Yeah, see, not even close. Nice. All right, everybody back to work and we're going to cut it off here since we're out of time. So I'll go ahead and get everything set up. I might do a little bit of stuff off camera, then I'll come back. We're going to go find the Hellgate in the Northwest and see what we can do with that to continue to advance the story. I want to thank you all for joining me. Hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.